I found it. Oh. Fuck. Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how I dye my hair blue. Well, this uh, like typical ombre blue hair I always wear. <gasps> that was a rhyme. <laughs> so just I don't know. This is just gonna be like my normal hair dye routine. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so first off, what you're gonna need is definitely paper towels or anything to cover up your table or your surrounding because it's gonna get messy. <laughs> so next thing you're gonna need is some bleach. Um, you don't necessarily need that if you have super white hair or you don't want the blue to be super intense or whatever. But I want the blue to pop. So this is just like a normal um, drugstore bleach by Sayas. And next you need <laughs> hair dye. So these are directions. I guess these are like the most common hair dyes you could use. Um, this one's ebony, this is like pure black, and this one's actually midnight blue. I always told everybody I was using navy blue, but I was actually wrong, I'm using midnight blue and I forgot. And next you of course want to use some conditioner. It doesn't matter which one you use, it should just like be um, like see-through or like white, so you can see the actual, like when you mix it, you can see the actual color of the hair dye. Um, so if it's like orange or pink, of course you won't see the exact result. And then of course you need some gloves. I also use a chopstick, <laughs> um, but I just use that to like separate my hair um, if I do my roots and stuff. It's actually really handy. You can see that I used it before, it's blue. <laughs> and then you need some like little boxes where you can mix the hair dye in. I just just use like you see that's been food in there Frischkäse <laughs> and I use a broken uh, plastic spoon to mix it all in these things and then you also need a snack because you might get hungry <laughs> you never know okay so I just put on a shirt which can get dirty and blue and whatever I just a shirt which you don't care about anymore I'm just gonna start by brushing uh, now I gotta mix my bleach together uh, where I have to put the content of this tube in here and then I don't know, this powder if you are familiar with bleaching you know how this works and then I'll squeeze the whole tube in there okay deceased and you can throw that little shit away now that we squeeze all of that into that thing, we're gonna add the powder. Just follow the constructions on how to mix the bleach. I just already know that by heart because I did it so many times and it's it's not that hard to be honest. Okay, like spill it everywhere. I just wanna put that thing back on. And then it's time to shake, 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 shake it. Okay, now you want to put on your plastic gloves. Oh, why is that so hard? How many fingers do I have? And then you just want to start by applying it directly to your roots. It's gonna like apply like a straight line. Then just massaging it in. So as I said, you don't necessarily have to bleach your hair before you go in with some um, hair dye. I think it's always better because the hair color will show up so much better, so much cleaner and so much more pigmented. And this is exactly what I want. So doing the back of your head is mostly really hard because you can't see it. Um, so it, it's always good if you have another person do that for you. I always have my mom to do the back of my head for me, but she's gone now, so... No, I mean, she, she's not gone. She's alive, but she's just gone out of the house. <laughs> you can also get in there with your finger and then apply it to, like, little areas. Bitch, I'm not wasting any of this. 
Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit like this. I uh, let it sit for five or ten more minutes. While that is soaking in, we're gonna get to mixing my blue shades, which we're gonna need this for, and this, and this cute little spoon. And I'm just gonna put like a, I don't know, half a spoonful in there. You can always add more, just add a little bit at first and then you can always add more later on. And then I want to add a lot of this conditioner. So basically you're going to need the whole tube. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to mix this. I'm also going to use the conditioner to um, get more hair dye in the end because if you're just going to use these little things then you have to buy like 10 of them, but if you mix it with some conditioner, it will last way longer. Okay, look at this beautiful blue. It's like a baby blue. I love this color so much. And now I'm just going ahead and I'm mixing the darker color, which is going to go into the ends of my hair. I'm gonna add some of that into this little thing and then I'm gonna add some of the color ebony as well did I say some oh, oh, oh okay also going to add a little bit of conditioner because I need more hair dye so we don't need the midnight blue I can put that aside but we are still gonna use this color this color and the black black Okay, guys, I'm back. I've washed out the bleach um, and my makeup is pretty much gone now right here at my hairline. <laughs> and let's see if it actually worked. Okay, I guess that's fine. So I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. I'm not gonna blow dry it or anything. Some people do it with dry hair, some people do it with wet hair. Just, just figure out what you like the most. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my gloves back on, which can take a while. <laughs> ah, my nail's stuck. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh, you can use your phone with these gloves on. Oh my gosh, look, look. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. I didn't know you could use them. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these. Like out. I'm gonna wear these every day now. <laughs> okay, so first off, I'm gonna apply this color and I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. I'm not using any brushes. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna use my chopstick to like separate the hairs and like flip them over, if you know what I mean. Alright, so I'm just gonna go right in there and then apply it to my roots at first. Okay, and then I'm using this tool, just going in there and creating a new hair part basically. Just flipping that over like that and going back in with the blue. So I'm just gonna repeat that over my whole head. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through Okay, so I'm just watching a Let's Play right now I really don't know how to stop the video <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna do it with my tongue I did it! So I just applied it like on my roots and a little bit to until like down here. So I'm just putting it in there and massaging it in. And then I'm just like always doing this motion, like going with your fingers like upwards to blend the color in. This is like very important so you don't have like weird blue lines going on. Hi. I just ruined my trousers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Why? <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna like go straight for the black and I'm gonna apply it like right onto my ends, but just like on the tippest of the tips. 
You see that? Can you even see that? Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> Look at these legs. <laughs> okay, so I had to take off my gloves because um, I had to charge my camera. And I really don't want to put them back on. <laughs> Just gonna let it soak in. Like, season me. <laughs> Okay, so normally I'm letting it soak in overnight. I'm um, just putting a plastic bag on my head and then I'm just sleeping in it. But I don't have that much time, so I'm just gonna let it sit for like, I don't know, an hour, which is definitely not very long. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm just gonna chill out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, are you ready for the big reveal? Well, I have absolutely no idea if this turned out well. <laughs> oh fuck. I've been really trying, okay, let's blow dry the shit out of the air. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Um, it's not like super even, but I'm not a hairdresser. I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> okay guys, I think that was it. Um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I will see you in my next video.